The ties. That bind. The ties. That break. Fifteen million dollars. I love it. Money, money, money. This is what heaven must feel like. But, unfortunately, I guess I have to give it back. I have to hide all of this quickly. So what did you think of the houses we saw today? I liked all of them. It's so hard to choose. It's nice though, huh? Trying to decide which big beautiful house to buy. Yes, but I don't want you spending all of your money on me. I don't need a house with a swimming pool. I can't even swim. I told you, Ma. This has been my dream since I was a little boy. I know and I appreciate it. But you've been spending your money like it's burning a hole in your pocket. I want you to put some of it away for a rainy day. I'm fine. There's still plenty left. Not the way you are spending it. Buying cars, motorcycles, and boats. Next you'll be buying yourself a plane. I was kinda thinking about that. Don't you dare. Just kidding. After I buy you a house and get a condo downtown for myself, I'll be done for a while. So, have you heard from Austin lately? Any news on the police finding your money? No, not yet. All the more reason to slow down your spending. You might not ever get the rest of your money back. Austin and Mrs. Pierce signed an agreement. They have to pay me back regardless of whether they find the money. I know Angela, she will try to find a loophole in that agreement. So, back to the house. I really like the one on Blagden Terrace by Rock Creek Park. First of all, that house is a little too close to Angela Pierce for my comfort, and second of all, I don't need six bedrooms and five bathrooms. I'm only one person. Well, now you can invite Auntie Rosie to come visit you, since you'll have five guest rooms. Not having a guest room had nothing to do with me not inviting my big sister to come visit me. You two have been at it so long, you probably don't even remember what you were fighting about. I remember perfectly well what she did to me. Okay, what did she do? It all started before you were even born. Every breath I breathe is for you. Don't say goodbye. Me more Thank you. My little sister has a beautiful voice, doesn't she, William? Everything about Valise is beautiful. True, she is beautiful, and good, and sweet, and innocent. She's so good, she's saving herself for marriage. Good for her. Yes, it is. Guess it just means she'll miss out on all the fun us bad girls get to have now. You're a bad girl, huh? Very bad. So, Auntie Rosie had a thing for my dad too. She knew we were together. But she went after him anyway, hard. Today, they would have called it stalking. That's how she found out that your father was married. She followed him home one night from the jazz club where he and I used to work. She couldn't get home fast enough to drop that bombshell on me. I was devastated, and six months pregnant with you. Auntie Rosie was the one who told you about Angela and my brothers. Yes, and she was also the person who told Angela about me and you. She blew everyone's world apart and then ran off to New York, leaving me to pick up the pieces. Okay, so Auntie Rosie is not welcome to come to your new home. She is most definitely not welcome. Hey, what's going on? I stopped by to see you and found Inspector Fraser in the hallway. Good evening. Good evening. I'd been keeping an eye on Dana. Just in case, now that she is in the open. Thank you. I didn't realize that Witsek was still protecting me. They're not. You left the program. I'm doing this on my own. Did something else happen? No. Everything is fine. It took you a while to answer the door. Are you okay? Yeah. Everything is fine. Did you go to bed already? Oh uh, no, I was just relaxing. Inspector Fraser, I appreciate you keeping an eye on my fiancé. I think it will be a while before either of us get back to normal. I wasn't aware of your engagement. Congratulations. And congratulations to you, Dana. Thank you. 
Dana has been in my charge for a very long time. I can't stop worrying about her, just because she's not in the program anymore. Well thank you for checking on me, Inspector Fraser. But I have my big strong fiancé to protect me, so I'm sure you don't need to come by anymore. Of course. I'm sure you are in good hands now. Have a good night. Thank you. You as well. Dana, what's that on your shoe? It looks like some money. Oh, yes. I was looking for that. I must have dropped it. I stopped by the ATM on my way home. Is that a $100 bill? Yes it is. What excellent eyesight you have. I didn't think ATMs dispensed $100 bills. This one did. Of course. Well have a good night. Take care. Fiancé, huh? Well, you will be soon enough. Fiancé, I like the way that sounds. I don't want him around here anymore. Okay. Why? Because I know when another man is after my woman. Thank you for my birthday trip. Turks and Caicos is one of my favorite islands. Well this will be a first for me so I'm really looking forward to it. And seeing it for the first time, with you. So is this what life will be like, as your girlfriend? Spontaneous and romantic trips. For the first time in my life, I can afford to see the world. And I'd like to do that with you. I love the aqua blue water here. This is paradise. It's so relaxing here. She's a really good surfer. Maybe. I guess so. I should ask her if it's hard to do that. Maybe she could teach me a few things about learning to surf while we're here. Yes, you should definitely do that. I'm going to go find the restrooms. Okay. Hi, excuse me. I'm sorry to bother you, but can you help me? Sure. How can I help you? Can you rub some sunscreen on my back for me? What I put on this morning washed off in the ocean. Sure, I can do that. My girlfriend will be back in a few minutes, but you can sit here until she comes back. Thank you, I really appreciate your help. It's no problem. Ahem. <clears throat> hey Shannon, I was just helping her out with some sunscreen. Hello, I'm Christy. Well, thank you for your help. You're welcome. Uh, what? <laughs> 